Ooh, hey, Victor, you always here first. I really appreciate you, man. Um, oh, hey, what's up, dude? What's up, Cody? Oh, man, what a freaking day. Man, talk about a late goddamn start. So we put our... Hopefully it's a sign that it'll go quick. I really hope so. Um, yeah, well, so basically we put our house on the market officially yesterday evening i think like it went actually no it went live this morning i think and uh then we immediately got two people that wanted to see the house today so we were like we we're like okay we knew we had an appointment that wasn't some people heard from our realtor before we officially went on the market that we were going on the market so they had asked to see the house uh tomorrow and uh, so we knew we had that one appointment and we we're like okay so we'll just we'll get the house ready but then today about an hour before my stream would normally start maybe a little more time maybe about 11 30 or something um the realtor texted my wife and was like can you uh can we do a showing at 12 30 and we were like well shit, we really want to sell the house so yeah Okay, so we immediately start running around and moving like my kids beds are like one's on the floor in the other room and the other one is pushed up against the wall because that's how we have with so they can have their little computer desks. We have that set up that way so that if we ever have to show the house, we just move one bed, uh, um, the uh, uh, mattress geez my brain we just move the mattress to the other room move the other bed back to the center and put the computers away so we do that but it's like i gotta do that we gotta clean everything and move everything around so we run around the house for an hour doing that and then uh we left just in time like they showed up and we were pulling out of the the driveway so they were 10 minutes early but yeah um Anyway, so we do that, and then while we're out, the realtor's like, I have another showing, I have another, pe you know, I have more people that would like to see it uh, an hour later, like uh, 1.30. So we're like, well, we're already out and the house is clean, so sure. Uh, so obviously that pushed everything back. And then we got back and we're like, okay, well now we've had God knows how many people in the house, so we ran in holding our breath, open up all the windows, turn all the fans on, uh, run back out, and then we just spent the you know another hour or so or whatever outside uh while the while the house aired out because you know freaking covid and uh it's like there's only so much you can do about that um just because you know at the very least at least they're not it's not like i'm in the room with any of these people um it, it's just you know we took as many uh we took as many precautions as we could right so some people have seen the house uh now it's two different appointments tomorrow to see it so we're really hoping we really want to sell we're really ready to go um yeah we're moving to uh connecticut i'm in florida right now um moving to connecticut uh my wife is a uh, a residential designer there's a lot of architecture firms up there also for me um just in as a not a just in case i don't really work that way but if for some reason someday forever i decided i wanted to go back into um triple a there's 81 studios in new york and we would be real close to new york uh like on the edge of connecticut basically so um it's better all around southern florida well we're in the panhandle we're in the we're in the taint of america got 30 bucks just saying <laughs> i'll think about it so i was uh i was coding like a madman this morning do you know if they're interested or is that classified uh well <laughs> um one so the first ones that like like these people our house went on the market and then very shortly after like i'm talking like an hour or two after this car drove by real slow and then we got the appointment right away that we had to rush out of the house for it was the same people and then according to their realtor talking to our realtor they are now between our house and one other house on deciding what they would like to get so there's hope there we'll, we'll see i don't know um but honestly, looking at whatever else is available, if people want to live in this area, our house is the only one that's turnkey. If, if anyone for some reason doesn't know, turnkey means it's ready to move in. You just turn the key and go in, right? So uh, the, all the other ones are older and need work. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's good for us. What's up, Yambo? Good to see you. 
So yeah, uh, it's a smaller stream for sure, obviously. But uh, anyway, like I said, I was coding like a madman this morning. I I like ripped out my uh, animation system that was tied into the haunt system. So like the haunt system, ooh, why so chuggy? I must have something selected or some weird thing, whatever. Have you thought about cracking the price since there's so much interest in, <laughs> no. Um, interest, it's a weird thing because you get anybody from people that legit are looking for a new home to like, well, they're all looking for new homes, but people that are like, I'm really interested in this house to people that are just like, I'm gonna look at every single house that is for sale right now, no matter what, no matter if it's out of my price range or uh, for, in a particular range, or if it has less or more rooms or whatever, I don't care. I just wanna see all of them so that maybe they could see something they weren't expecting, right? So it's a really low chance those people are even gonna give a shit about your house. So it's, the point is to be in the right price range. And I think we are. Um, we're, you know, uh, I think we are appropriately priced. We didn't try to go high so that we could tick down the price, but uh, we didn't go with like the, the absolute lowest either, you know? So I think we're in a really good spot. But anyway, uh, so this animation stuff, all the things that run the doors and the windows, it's a new script that I made that I then hooked up to, ooh, ooh, more light switches. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh man, oh dude, I can open and close everything. I'm like an open and close man. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Um, also, let's see, so uh, I made it, I'm working on the embalming stuff, so I started working on getting uh, the things you need, so you can get a trocar now. You can get a scalpel now. Uh, they obviously need to be rotated appropriately, but there they are in all their glory. Used for gas by doing stabby stab and cut stuff by cutting into things. <laughs> Clearly I didn't care when I wrote this stuff this morning. <laughs> but uh, I, I added to the item system so that I can't carry more than one at a time of these. So you can't just like load up on scalpels and have like a million scalpels, right? can't be like a scalpel person um so it's like you basically can get all the things that you're gonna need and you'll be ready to like start doing embalming stuff and the reason i was setting that up is uh well i'm working on embalming next and what that's going to do i need to fix those saggy boobs it gets me every time the saggy boobs but uh i need in order for the embalming to work i was like well i need to have my items so that way I can be like, all right, I've used this item. This item has been used. I can now go to this next step, which will require these items. And now, you know, so I had to be able to have that set up. So those are all there for the most part. I'm gonna have to set up a few more items, but uh, they're pretty much there. And then I can start working on that system. But when I did that, I was like, well, I'm gonna wanna be able to actually open this thing so I can get the trocars. I could just move them out, but I need to do it anyway. So then I started writing, uh, the interaction stuff for this, I was like, well, wait a minute, I've got a much better idea about how the haunt system can work animations and read what's going on. So I re, like I said, I gutted that and rebuilt everything. So here we are. Uh, I didn't suddenly feel safe by having a scalpel with me. Um, I'm sure I support up advertising paid off since it made it. <laughs> that, was, that was the idea squared. See, it's funny to me when um, I see the comments, like I posted on Reddit a while ago and I got comments of like, you know, if you want to be really effective, you, you'd probably want to make an ad like this or like that, or, you know, that, that displayed for this long and showed this sort of thing. And it's like, okay, yeah, I could go into the strategy of how to properly advertise my horror game on Pornhub, or I could take the fact that I advertise my horror game on Pornhub, make a YouTube video and then advertise that YouTube video. <laughs> Nah, I mean, 4D chess. <laughs> so these all work now. Uh, let me see. For now, I can still move this back to cold storage. That is not what I should do, but, but have you advertised the YouTube video? Oh my God. Never mind. Dead Zone's playing 4D chess. 
I thought I had it. He's in another dimension. All right, let's pull this lady out. Look at these bodies we got. Hey, Twitch Dog, what's up? You see you guys. Bigger brain. Biggest brain. Yes, but Reddit's a weird one. It's... It's... They... It's so easy for them to hate you. And there are so many rules per um, subreddit to follow. Yeah, exactly, Cody. I agree. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> There's uh, so if you guys have ever heard of a game called Crumble, uh, it's there, it's another indie developer made a game about a little squishy ball that's rolling around and used the tongue like Spider-Man to swing around from stuff. Stuff, right? And I've seen their stuff all the time on Reddit, and Reddit likes it. Um, but uh, well, no. But the last time I got banned, it ties into this story. So um, when I advertised Cohate on our gaming, it blew up. Like, it, it went to, like, 3K, and I, I remember we was talking about it on stream, and I was, I was, like, super upset because I put it on late at night because I was just like, whatever, I'll put it up there. It's going to get buried anyway. But it blew up to the number third, like, the number three post on gaming. And I was like, and that was around, like, 5.30, 6 a.m. when I saw that, uh, when I woke up in the morning. And I was like, oh, my God, everybody's going to wake up in the U.S., which is, like, the largest reddit user base and they're gonna see my game at the top awesome this is gonna be really good for it and uh then uh it got banned because i had broken their 10 percent rule where it doesn't matter if you advertised your game like by posting it uh on our gaming or anywhere on the site just site wide if you posted anything about your game that was disproportionate to the number of posts that aren't about your game they see it as like you spamming reddit i guess as far as the art gaming community is concerned which as an indie developer is bullshit because i'm sharing and this is considered the same i'm sharing animations of things like when i do an animation i share it when i have like a trailer i share it when i have cool screenshots i share it right that's what you're doing as you're building a game that's all considered that's all under the same sphere to them so when i posted my launch trailer finally uh, they were like, oh, you've been posting about your game all over Reddit, so nope, and they took it off. And so that really dicked me over uh, as far as exposure. And uh, that was that was super upsetting. Cause it, but anyway, this ties into the crumble thing because um, I was like, well, this guy, he had, a, he had a post on gaming that went all the way up to the top. And I was like, well, this guy posts his stuff all the time. So what, what's, the, uh, what's the difference here? And one of the complaints that I had when I had gotten banned was saying that all it encouraged was a bunch of shit posting. Because if you want to be an account that can advertise your game and you want to be outside of that 10% rule, which is 10% of your posts can be about your game and the other 90% have to be about other things before for gaming to be like, oh, you're not just advertising your shit all the time. So I went and checked out his, uh, his Reddit account and it's just a million posts to ask Reddit about, like, what do you think of this? What's your favorite color? What is this like? What's that like? And just exactly what I was talking about, just junk posts on everything so that he could make one post to gaming, so that he could make one post to wherever, right? And, man, it's uh, it, it was just unfortunate to see because I'm like, oh, okay, that is what you have to do. And it's dumb that you have to do that. <laughs> How oh, dare you be popular before you're popular? And you just blew up on Reddit and gained 1k YouTube subs overnight? Awesome. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and, th and that's my issue, Josh, is that there's a big difference between, you know, some mobile studio that churns out a junk game every week and is just spamming Reddit, right? And me, a solo indie developer, that's just posting on our indie gaming, going, hey, here's a new animation. Here's a cool new creepy thing that happens in my game. Here's a render of something, right? Those all count as advertising as far as our gaming is concerned. And those are things that indie developers want to do to get people aware of their game. So all that makes you do is have one account for posting to those other things, your indie developer account, and then your, uh, your friend account where you just post a bunch of shit and then every now and then you go my friend made an indie game i hope you guys like it as much as i do they say they don't think it's very good but i think it's great you know it, that sort of thing <laughs> oh. 
Do you do some Reddit streams where you make shit posts? Yeah. Clearly that needs to be it. Let's just come up with things. Let me let's make a let's make a new ask Reddit post. Let's do that. Let's do all of that. Hold on. What's a good ask Reddit? What sort of cheese would you be if you were cheese? Li-fi theories. Ooh, there we go. That's what I could do. I could just start new conspiracy theories. <laughs> anyway. So, giant fingernails aside, as much as I hate that uh, in the UV sheet, um seeing everything in context now after i've made the the model and brought it in um this is acceptable because everything that i do like i'm i do it for you uh it's like everything's blurry or like you know things get out of focus around like outside of where i'm looking at like this is in focus but all this is blurry and this all feels really good so you're far enough away that it doesn't feel off so as much as i don't like the technical issue and want it to be fixed, um, these bodies are acceptable. So I'll be able to make some more and, and move on. You wanna look at her feet? You wanna look at those? You wanna look at that? A little bit of that. <laughs> Have you had a proper marketing budget for any previous? Nah, I, I would say probably not. Um, they don't ever seem to work, you know? I mean, I could, like I've had budget for doing like, like Facebook ads and stuff like that, but they never they're always pretty fruitless and unless you do This is the issue with it unless you pour a bunch of money in to do a B testing over and over again for ads You don't really know what's gonna work on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, right? So it's gonna cost a lot of money to even find out what works and then you've spent a bunch and as a solo developer You don't have a ton of money to do that with right? Um, so the most effective ways are getting youtubers to play and and trying to hit the right people on reddit and other things like that so i post about conspiracy theories about whatever game you're working on so you'd ooh, interesting it's not a bad idea huh <laughs> thinking old school yamba there we go here's the future you need to advertise in payphone booths Premium space for cheap. Oh, whoops, this one's not set up with the new animation set up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I do now is uh, I have. B -b 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 where are my doors? Upper room door. Uh, where are you? This, this door over here. I have a new script. There's a hot new script on the scene. Um. Animation object interact. It's a generic one now. Um, it has an object ID, and in the haunt manager, at the when the game starts, every single one of these scripts adds itself to a list of them in the haunt manager. So all of these scripts are directly accessible now on the haunt system. And what I can do is based on whatever object ID I give, like say back door, I would then look for back door on something like. Uh, you know, I would look through each of them and be like, if it's back door, open it up, you know, so I can do creepy things. In phone books, everyone used, there we go, yeah, take out full page ads. Honestly, it probably wouldn't cost very much to take out, like, multiple full page ads in the phone book. <laughs> yeah, squared, but the problem there is, like... <sighs> Yeah, you, you need to like pay them, but then there's the issue of a lot of them will be like, this is a paid thing, and that immediately will, you know, throw people off unless it becomes, unless it's really fun, then maybe it's worth it. I don't know. All those things are gambles. 
Apparently that's a Phasma de dev did. Just send the game to streamers until some folks played it. Uh, so we yeah, well, that's what happened with me with the subject. Actually, um, it's funny because the subject, uh, it's not like it did amazing, but it was my first game and it was in the top eight on Twitch for like a couple days because um, just the right people got it and had thousands of people watching. And, uh, you know, I've had... The, the thing is that I don't think Twitch streamers have the same impact YouTubers do, right? Um, you know, with Mortuary Assistant Prototype, that was all YouTubers gave so much traction. And I have metrics from Itch that show that most of my, uh, most of my traffic to my games on Itch are from YouTube. Take a look here, dashboard. Uh, let's just take a look at Mortuary Assistant Analytics. We still, we're still getting, I mean, it's been out for a very long time. It's been out for, what, almost a year now? And uh, it, it's like, still gets 54 views. It's gotten 27 downloads at 69, that, nice, that day. But you can see, look, by URL, within the past 30 days even, still YouTube, 321. Google could still potentially be YouTube, because obviously Google owns YouTube. Um, and then uh, and then itch. And then fucking Bing growth and all these other things. But uh, Yahoo? What the hell? <laughs> Who's using Yahoo to find things? Whatever. You don't think you've used a phone book in your entire life? All the more reason to advertise in it. Outside the box thinking. <laughs> but yeah so youtube is definitely where it comes from i have like none from twitch like no one has like shared a a link in twitch that's like hey look at that let's see what do we got here um the prototype has had thirteen thousand nine hundred and thirty downloads uh total downloads twenty one thousand point eight twenty one point eight k downloads and it's made four hundred and twenty dollars nice I'm always surprised at any money made from Mortuary Assistant because, <laughs> it, you know, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Just the prototypes. Five minutes. Oopsies. Did I accidentally? Ah, oh, killed my music. Um, booby doo boop, boop, boo boo boob. Streaming. There we go. Shuffle. There we go. I know a uh, a Reddit post I could make for indie developing. What I should do is stalk that Crumble Devs uh, profile and see what. Uh... There we go. There we go. See what um, subreddits they post to for all their junk. So I can just fill that up. Hey, CGI Eric, what's up, dude? Good to see you. All right, there we go. Now this is all hooked up. <sighs> all that is fixed. Um, you made it here. So did I. <laughs> I'm very late. Uh. So got my scalpel, just start responding to all their fake ass credits. Yeah, I should. So the problem is, is they don't count um, comments. I, I looked into it because I was like, well, I've commented on a ton of shit because someone else had been like, yeah, you, you can just comment on stuff and they're wrong. It's posts. Your posts can't be uh, lopsided. It's pretty dumb, but you know. I was supposed to be a response, how dare you? Okay, so now I've got a scalpel. So, what I'll want to do now... Hmm... When I move to... Let's take a look at the embalming runner. I'm wondering if I should do it like the prototype, where you have to collect things and then put them on the little side table. And then I record that in the... Uh, in the runner here. And be like, okay, I got this item, I got this item, I'm good to go, okay, cool. 
Do you want to be WoW? What do you mean? What? Like World of Warcraft? How many people play WoW still? It's still in the millions, right? It's millions of people. Um, WoW player numbers. They just put out a new expansion too, didn't they? Uh, uh, World of Warcraft's player count is around 4.88 million as of 2020. So huge drop from where they were because they were at 12 million or whatever. But that's still ungodly huge. Holy shit. That's still massive. I remember when I uh, when I first started on uh, Warhammer. Obviously, World of Warcraft was in its freaking heyday. Um, but we were having a conversation about what was a successful MMO before World of Warcraft came and skewed the numbers horribly because it was a problem with investment. Um, not, not necessarily specifically for Warhammer or anything, but, um, it was just, it was it, something we were talking about at a bar one time, um, where it was like investors were like, oh, MMOs, you know, they get millions of players. And it's like, no, before, wow, a successful MMO had like a quarter million people. Like that was, that was a lot of money. Cause it is a lot of money and that's very successful for an MMO. Nowadays, if 250,000 people are playing an MMO, people are like, Pfft. like, oh God, what a failure, you know? <laughs> it's so weird. But uh, yeah, it's like, if you didn't have millions of people playing, it was it was bad. So it's like, when you put that in perspective, because it's like, let's see, what, what, are, we, what are we looking at here? Boop, 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 uh, times, what is it, is 12 a month, 12 a month? So you're still making 3 million a month from 250,000 people. Now, Obviously, you have your entire monthly cost for the company and servers and things like that. But I mean, it's not 12, it's not 12 per person. I can tell you that much. <laughs> so you're making millions every month, you know, like even even just strike a million off of that every month, maybe two million, two million. Let's be let's be just say two million every month is taken up in your monthly costs. Then. Uh, Oh, do I want to be amazed? Sure, yes, I would love to be amazed. I don't know how it feels anymore. But, uh, you know, you're still making 12 million a year off of, potentially, you're still making 12 million a year off a of 250,000 player base. So that puts in perspective how much ridiculous amounts of money uh, WoW makes, even now. Like now, it's insane, you know? At one point in their their peak there what was their peak was it 12 million or was it higher wow player base peak 12 million yeah okay but that's with sub players that was all before the free to play rip yes but doesn't wow still only do monthly and they also have a cash shop and they have a fucking cash shop oh my god <laughs> <laughs> they make so much money. It's so stupid. What's up, comps? Insane. What you working on today? Well, I ripped out um, my animation system and that tied into the haunt system and rebuilt it this morning. And then I got the item system working uh, with some extra little bells and whistles for embalming. Um, now I'm working on the embalming runner and figuring out how I'm going to plug this in to, uh, to everything else. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to want to, I think I'm just going to want to like start this. I don't think I want to have it just running as an instantiation. Someone asked me what the pattern I use the most is and turns out it's singleton. <laughs> Do I have a golden scalpel if you played the game X amount of times? I like it. It's nothing but golden scalpels. DLC, even better. I like where your head's at. Don't forget the uh, the original soundtrack from C Paws Music will also be for sale with it. Golden fingernails. They might as well be with the amount of texel density those goddamn things get. Uh-oh. What happened? 
What is this? Oh. Sway more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We still have that animation, so don't worry. We'll get we'll get lots of use out of it. <laughs> so when I move to oof, is it in the clipboard manager? Oh God, that stuff needs to be re re -kajiggered. I just got everything working again with uh, the new animation stuff and the uh, like the car and and uh, the director system and stuff but it's way better the way i built it is so much better uh so how's this gonna work manager clipboard manager let's let's pop this baby open asked about it on yesterday's vod oh you did what i'm sorry what i'm so confused Okay, so in the computer. Oh, we're in the clipboard manager. I want to be in the computer. Mm, where are you, computer system? Computer sys. There we go. Let's inspect. Computer. Computer. Oh, it's in the thing. Okay. So when we move to embalming, where does that happen? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, clear inspection clipboard. That's fine. Move to embalm. Game manager. Move to embalm. Current body. So game manager. Where you at? Oh, that's right. I closed everything because it was going to be. It was like too many tabs in a web browser. B D D. Move, 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 move to move to embalm. Uh, save data. Move to embalming. Uh, body state. Oh, so we set the body state. Okay, so I think what I could do is I would have to access it through the game manager. Check DM if I want to be amazed. Making me work for it. One second. I swear to God, if it's just a giant dong again, I'll be very impressed. Oh, uh, you mean Discord. I released a new portfolio. I'd appreciate if you would stop by and take a minute of your time to read it. Thank you. Be amazed. Okay, yep. And then, uh, what is this? The official Tapping Gods trailer has been... A surprise from me. Big thank you, boop, boop, boop. Yes, I'm fine with these things. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. First this. Hmm. Oh, this is the stuff you were making. Uh... Tapping gouds. I don't know what the game is. Oh, Roblox. So it's a Roblox thing. Rapid tapping legends. Tip tap. I sub noise pog. Cool. My only thing is that I'm not certain what the game is from the trailer. But I'm also intrigued. I see enough of this area that I'm like, why is all this important? And you can click clicks. Cool, cool, cool. And then, hold on, let me check your folio. Uh... Okay. 
Computer animation 3D real. Graphic design. Cool. Moving 3D modeling. Awards. Cool. Very per project negotiable payment. You're gonna pay your rent above you when you're paid up front for services. Smart. So in between cool hours. All right. So you're looking to do freelance. You're putting this up as like freelance work for uh, just graphic design, animation, modeling, any of it, any of it slash all of it. Tell me your plans. Apparently, Bacon, yeah, where are you at? Where are you at and I'll let you know. <laughs> My only thing would be give samples. Um, Cause you've got, let's see, hold on. For your animations, can I click these and ah. See, I can see the animation examples. Um, I would almost break these into different decks. Like an animation deck, a modeling deck, and a, and a, uh, a graphic design deck. Just because if you're gonna send this to somebody, right, and they're looking for a modeling person, or they're looking for an animator or something like that, they're usually not looking for someone that's gonna do everything. So it's cool if you wanna do everything, nothing, nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to do freelance work and you want to show someone the work that you do in the area that they're looking for, you wanna be precise. You wanna be like, check this stuff out because if they see, you know, if they're looking for modeling, and I go through here and I've got your about me, computer animation, graphic design. Okay, here's modeling, but it's just one page. It's just one card, right? So this is this is about, you could take the same deck really and just cut out the other ones, the, you know, replace the animation one and the graphic design one with some more breakdowns of 3D modeling and then do the same for each one, right? So you've got an X number of cards about your modeling or about your animation so that way you can have larger uh because you have like your animation videos you've got four of them on one card where you could have one on each card so they could be full screen or you could have two on each card so they're at least larger and they can not have to go anywhere and they don't have to because it's small enough that i'd be like okay let me click on the youtube thing and check it out and you really want to cut down on those steps right so if i were looking for you know, Darkstone Digital looking for 3D modeler for type of thing, right? Instead of sending me this deck, you'd go through the three decks that you've built and you'd send me the modeling one. You know what I'm saying? Westchester. Hmm. Where is that? Ah, yes. I wanna see, I wanna see exactly where. Oh snap, dude, we're gonna be real close. Is this, hold on, Westchester County? Dude, we'd be like super close. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, depending on where you are. But yeah, it would definitely be like a, yeah. You could. You totally could. Applied for a job today and got the rejection email in less than 30 minutes. Nice. I'm speed running this thing. That just means it's quicker until you're going to get a job, baby. Machine gun that shit. See what, see what sticks. But anyway, Eric, before, before I move on here, you see what I'm saying, though? It's like anyone that's looking for an animator is going to want to see a lot of animation examples anyone looking for design going to want to see a lot of design examples and they're going to want to see a lot of modeling examples right so it's going to be good to break those down and you're going to have more in your uh, space in your deck to show like 3d modeling breakdowns wireframes whatever it is you want to show and it's going to make you seem much more like you are in tune with what they want right because if you show them a bunch of other stuff that they got to leaf through they'll be like oh this guy does everything okay next next guy you know that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least they got back to you, 100%. Um, what you should do, Pixel, or what I would what I would advise is just reply and just be like, thank you very much for the opportunity. If you have any feedback on, uh, you know, my my resume, my whatever, 
um, I'd greatly appreciate it. And then you can figure out what you should tweak, right? Because they'll, they'll respond. They'll respond and tell you. It's all useful. What are some things I should try to do for applying to an online internship? I'm considering, thank you very much, Barctic. I'm considering an early April or so to try to reach out uh, for summer. Applying for an online internship? Um, well, you need a portfolio, obviously. Uh, I mean, that's really that's really the best you can do, but I would say what, what you should do um, is you can start to post on places like Polycount or Reddit or like places where you can like even like Twitter or a like a blog like something where you can start posting your work. I would I would advise maybe against a blog because it takes a lot of effort because you got to write a lot of shit out. But if you do something like Polycount where you post your work and then you can just keep building on that thread or something like that, um, you'll already you'll start to build a track record of people that may be aware of your work. And then when you start looking for an internship, you can put in your thread in that 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 whole thread of your work or in other posts and everything that, hey, I'm looking for an internship now. So now people that have been more interactive with your work, people that have been stopping by and commenting on it and seeing you grow and improve based on their feedback and, and your changes and stuff like that, they'll see that track record. And it's a low chance, but if there's a chance that someone in that thread happens to be looking for a position, then there's something there. Or maybe they know someone that knows somebody, right? And it's just, it's about building that history so someone can look through it and see how you've grown so that it's more than just a cold call, right? You have a resume, you have a portfolio, and you have something of an online presence where someone could potentially see your work over time. Um, that's, that's what I would suggest above just the standard get your portfolio together and make sure it doesn't suck, you know? Um, yeah, you could reach out to some recruiters, some headhunters. Um, not a, there's nothing wrong with that. That's that's definitely can be part of it. You can find certain Discord uh, professionals in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. It's one interesting interest if I was going to apply, but it seems a lot of work. It's unpaid. Oof. Yeah. Karen Chan. Mm, I don't know. Why do they know me? Did they work at a company that I had been at before? <laughs> Anything is possible. Hmm, I'm gonna have to make a... Hmm. Interesting. From an agency I talked to wanted me to go for a job that was at the opposite end of the country for three. Ah! CEO of Facebook now. I don't know. At this point, I might as well just put it on here and make it accessible through the game manager. Because if I gotta, if I gotta create it on the game manager anyway, and just be like, you know, create new whatever the fuck, and then I gotta access it to there, I might as well just put it on here. You know, hmm. I mean, unless I want to do something each time. Nah, see, yeah, it doesn't really work unless I want to. Like, I kind of need it to be available so that I can keep track of everything. Usually when you create a uh, an instance of something when you're like new, you know, new embalming runner you're just accessing something on it to use it. Um, she emailed you about work. Well, that's cool. What kind of work? Which thing? I keep tapping on my phone and it keeps coming to life. I don't mean to do that. Sorry, phone. Sorry, phone. <laughs> oh, also, before I forget, this is completely unrelated, has nothing to do with any of you. I need to go to the Google Play thing and see if there's something I need to do to make the game visible on the store. Like, I know... I know people have gotten it, people have installed it, but it seems like... There's something, there might be something else, I don't know. So 
War Presence. Uh, let's see. Google Play. Production. Your app is available for download on Google Play users in your chosen countries and regions. Maybe it's just that the store hasn't been updated yet. That's weird. Had no idea. Hmm. Keep playing your game. Where where would this be? What is happening? Hold on. I, I feel like there's nothing else I gotta do. But do I have to do? Target specific users, so we're listing experiments, AD, store settings, game, casual, casual puzzle, advertise my app out of, yeah. No data available yet because it's been like a day, but it seems like Cheese and rice, man. Where would it be? What's up, Ben? Hmm. Overview. What do we got here? Uh, do 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 do. Performance fine. Accessibility, whatever. Not everything. Some things are old. Stability on old things. Whatever. Settings. Uh, provide test now. Specific languages. It says turn on print. Okay. App bundle explorer. Device catalog. I don't care about that. I mean, view on Google Play. It's there. That, that issue is, look at this. It's there. By the way, those that don't know, I made a, uh, a hyper casual little puzzle game here. Here, you can check it out. If you're on Android, you can go there and grab it. It's free. Oh, hey, Cody, thanks, dude. My man, my man, C Paws. I'll tell you, take a little super quick thing. You can be sushi. You can click things. You can be a hot dog. Tumble Garden, go play it. It's free, but it's got some ads. That's how I make money. Just go in there and just hit the ad thing. Just watch ads over and over and over again. I don't believe in Android. How dare you? <laughs> I've been using the hot dog skin. It's, it's, I think the sushi might be my favorite skin, but the hot dog is a very close second, if not the first, so. The thing is, is like, this isn't like, if I just search it, it doesn't come up. So it's like, I'm assuming it takes a few days or at least a day for the game to be indexed. But I don't know. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, and I was like, this shit, man, where is it? But not a lot I can do about that. I just wasn't sure if there was something else I needed to do to make it visible or if like I didn't get an email. What's weird is I got an email the first time it was rejected, but I didn't get an email when it was accepted. So there's no like, hey, you're in, buddy. Also, it's going to just wait a day or two before it shows up on search results. And it's like, that'd be super helpful. But it seems like no distributor has it fully down, you know, on like. On the, on the usability front. So what do you think about new store analytics? I don't know. I can't see any of it right now.
Oh, I'm not seeing today's stuff. I see. Oh, well, I don't know. I've never released anything on Android. Can you look up Faceware and your games? Can you look up Faceware and your game sell will be high? I don't know. Uh, store doesn't even show reviews on it via my installed. What the hell? Wait a sec. I think it's Half Life, so I pump out a random crappy Android game and enable ads. Can I download my own gameplay ads every day? <laughs> I don't think so, Josh. I had the same thought, but I don't think so. I actually was wondering, like, uh, I had an idea. I ran it by my wife, and she was like, nah, that's dumb. Farm it. So this comes. This is what I'm talking about. So I was wondering. I had this thought of, like, you know, some people are really, like, they are adamant about supporting my work. But, oh, sorry. If you got a link, hold on. You got to get permission. There you go. Um... But I had the thought that, like, you know, not everybody can do a Twitch subscription. Not everybody can, you know, give money to Patreon or, or buy my games or anything like that, but they still want to support. It's like, would I be able to just put out an app that is literally just a watch ads app? Like, it's just a Darkstone ad watching button, <laughs> you know, that just like you just press it and it watches an ad. It's that simple, right? And so if you just want to like support me, you just tap it a couple times, watch a few ads, close it, whatever, right? But the uh, the problem is that uh... <laughs> the problem though is I think you you wouldn't get very much money. Introducing Studio. Oh, this. So uh, the software I have can do uh, camera tracking like this with a uh, depth camera. So the, the character creator stuff that I have already does this sort of thing. Um, I've already gotten tools that will do this stuff super fast. Appreciate it, though. You're, you're right in that it would be helpful. But I have a, a, a tool very similar. Same thing that let me pump out these characters in like a day. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if there's something I got to do for the app here, but... Uh... Doesn't seem to be anything. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it says four. It says four installs. Those are rookie numbers. I know it's only been out for like half a day. We get get those numbers up. Man, this new Pog Champ is yeah. Well, what is it now? I know they were doing. Uh, Doing a different one every 24 hours is what they're going to do now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one's not easy to, to read. But they're going to do a different... Supposedly, they're going to do a different Pog Champ every 24 hours. Nope. No. Oh, gross. <laughs> this, uh, I saw a tweet said they were, but who knows. Anyway. All right. Um... Oh, as you can't read it well. No, it doesn't look like it's too far away. That's not it's not what, you know. I should do one and edit it for them and just give it to them as a PNG on Twitter. And be like, there you go. And then they'll never use it because we who the fuck is this guy? We don't care about people we don't know. <laughs> Did you accidentally show nipples or something? Then we don't care. Yep, changes every 24 hours. I know, but I mean, to be added to the roster, it's probably already like tons and tons and tons. Um, so this guy actually, I guess I could run through the game manager, but it just seems like, it's gonna be its own thing that turns on. Hold on, I'm trying to think of how this would work. Cause when I move to embalming, it's just gonna, be used so I could put it on the game manager and just do game manager dot ini dot 
embalming runner and then do whatever the hell I want. Um, or not I and I. <laughs> hmm. I just feel like I do that so much and I'm like, there's gotta be better ways. Would you rather have more time or more money? Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Are these Reddit ideas? Cause I like that. <laughs> I think more money to an extent and then more time. And then I think rewind button, because you could, you know, anytime you do something dumb, you could just be like, boop, and then fix it. <laughs> it's like a, it's a real world undo button. So if I want to access this. Blah, 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 blah. Either put it in the world on a game object and or well not even i could just put it on a script also handy for program exactly dead zone see your head's in the right spot all right i guess i'll go through the game manager it feels weird but i did it here too public bombing access it through there more time to make more money interesting game in the system <laughs> see yeah i was like well i think there is like the whole money can't buy happiness stuff sure that is true but it is also true that your life can be made much easier to allow you to pursue things that make you happy if you have money you know, because everybody will say, oh, you just go live in the woods. You don't need money. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to live in the woods. I want to do this shit. <laughs> you know, so it's like what it, what it comes down to is if I had more money, then my wife wouldn't have to work. Um, and we'd just be able I'd be able to work at whatever pace I wanted. And I'd be able to experiment with stuff because I'd be like, you know what? This this game does not have to come out instantly i can mess with other things a little bit and try stuff and you know so that's that's the money part but then eventually once you have the security then you're like i would really love more time to enjoy all of this you know also rather cry at a ferrari <laughs> but i like eric's idea of, of more time to make more money it's more time that lets you push but what kind of time are we talking about like you get to be 150 because that's still many years of just peeing in a bag on yourself, you know? And you're not getting anything out of that. Or are we talking like days that are longer proportionate to your age so that, you know, you have a you have a 50 hour day, right? Or something like that. Days are longer. Hmm. Hmm. Now, okay, we'll get further into this. Are you, is it like the 24 hour clock like hits and everybody else stops and your day continues and then when your day is done the next day starts for everyone you know when your 12 a.m hits it is now 12 a.m for everyone so you're in like a time well where you get an extra x number of hours hell yeah that would be the greatest way to do it that'd be awesome yeah that's a badass way because then any yeah, any distraction that you could have during that day is now on pause, asleep in the middle of the night, and you're you're up for however many more hours or even days before the next day starts for people. So you get your your alone time to do whatever you want to do. That's how like you wake up and everyone's like, why does this guy know how to speak German all of a sudden? It's like, oh, well, when you go to sleep, I have six days before the next day starts for everyone. That'd be rad. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down for that. That'd be the way I'd take that over money. Cause yeah, you could, you could do every, you could do tons of stuff in that time. <clears throat> oh my God, Twitch dog. He's been doing it. So, how do we want to do this? 
And I think instead of pump step, I'm going to do embalm step. Rename. So it's going to go to the next thing. That's going to require an item. Maybe instead of embalming item uh, or embalming step, I'll say uh, use item. And so when that happens, that's my embalming helper that's going to access this mofo. You have to bulk buy all your food. I think I'd be okay with the internet going down because that gives you, like you still have a normal full day of like your, your internet usage and everything. And you're forced then to kind of entertain yourself and read and improve yourself and focus on on things and and like i think it could be good right yeah i mean if you're talking about learning a language it'd be a little slower because you wouldn't have like you know download that shit during the during the day get your rosetta stone and then and then practice for the next however many hours <laughs> it's stuck in the time well call doctor who So I need my embalming helper as well, which is on the body. There's going to be more. Um, do you want to wash the body? Because that's one of the steps. Um, is you, you get some sponges and you wash the body. And then you, uh, and then you do all the stuff. Because right now, the embalming process that I have is you gather all the things you need. And then you make the incision. You shove the tube in there and then uh and then it starts doing the draining and then that's done you sew it up and you finish the embalming process you know so there's plenty in there to like walk around and get stuff and all sorts of things but it could distract from the creepiness if you're if you're washing could be silly, it could be, or it could be awesome. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> let you let you click the areas and you just go with a sponge, go around to the other area, go around a chest, and then the, th the head, and then you start your thing. I think it'd be another distraction. It's a matter of how you present things, you know? Let's see. So we use that, oh, the helper is what I need off the body. Where are you, bodies? Bodies. Let's take a look at this one. Veins. There's the helper. There's our helper, and then we've got the embalming runner there. And so, each of these things is going to be a thing. So if I'm checking for, uh, that's the pump. We're going to rename this to cut. We're going to take cut. And this is going to become, uh, ooh, item ID. Hmm. Hmm. I'm saying I check for the item that I need. Eh, whatever, this is all gonna be a thing. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be rewriting this just like I rewrote other shit this morning, and that's fine. Uh, Balming runner dot step. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Oh, let's use item. So if they got that, if they got that item, ID. This is just a, this returns a bool off the inventory manager, checking to see if we actually have the item we need, which in this case would be a scalpel. And if we do, then, uh, then we do the thing that we need and we start it. Uh, I may not need to do a switch like this. I may just be able to do a, just this. Ooh, geez. I may be able to do just this because I, I'm checking for an item already right here. Um, 
And then we have to step to the next thing. I think that's probably an okay to do way to do it right now. Let's get rid of you. And get rid of you. And get rid of you. So this is very specific to embalming. So we have the item that's needed. And if we have that item, it'll do the thing else. Debug.log. I don't have that item. So here we would do thingamajig. We use the item, but this is where it gets a little wonky donkey is I would have to like I'm using the item and I'd be like, okay, if it's that, oh my God, go away. You just scared the shit out of me. God damn robots. Think they run everything. <laughs> Think they own the world. Who, who, who I get a mention from? This is my first fall of Oh, 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 it's, uh, it's, of course it's, it's, it's Mickamortis. Boo to boo, ah. Shit, X. There we go. Do retweeties. Hmm. 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 Oh, you know what I got? Um, I got Five Nights at Freddy's. So I can play that because I have not played it before. I dipped my toe in a little bit when I first got it, but only for like 15 minutes or something. Because it's it's one of those games that I just never played, but I'm like, that's one of them I should probably play. <laughs> so it, it was 4 dollars It's been out for a while, so I'm like, ah, I get it. Get it and try it. Yep, the original. I have not played any FNAF stuff. So I was like, I'm just getting the original. Whichever Five Nights at Freddy's is on Steam right now. The base, the base vanilla, plain old glass of, you know, slice of bread with a glass of water for dipping Five Nights at Freddy's. I just want, I want the, yeah, the first one. I want to have, I want to know what the buzz was about. Um, just experience that. I, I mean, I've seen people play it. I've seen Paws play it. You know, I, I just, you know, want to play it myself. I, I'm trying to get into more research. Like, I, it's, as an indie developer, I should be playing more games to get more research of that sort of thing. In fact, we could just right now and play it real quick if you want. Because I got to think this whole system through. I'll be watching you in your Discord server on voice. I'll be watching you. I think that may be the play because I'm I'm looking at this and I'm going, you know what? I gotta I gotta dream up I gotta dream up this whole uh process right now. So I don't wanna just get into just writing random shit. I wanna actually write out how this is gonna go, like in a Word document, how I imagine this working. Um I have an idea. Uh I just wanna make sure it's solid. And I've got forty five minutes, so it's probably better to just uh do some fnaf. From foo faff, some foo foo naff, some foo foo naff. See horror game dev plays FNAF first time for first time. Five nights at Freddy's three. Jesus Christ. There's so many. This guy is so rich. It's ridiculous. Um, five Nights at Freddy's. Up, dude. Let's do this shit. Hey, poopy. <laughs> I don't know why I always say it that way. I have to say it that way. You caught us in time. We're going to play some... F f <laughs> Which means I guess I should turn the music off, huh? Let's get at it. And here we go. 
I, I got 45 minutes left. I got an entire new system. I got a... Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Is this... Is this what people normally experience? Hold on. We're gonna... Okay, we're going... We're going half there. We're going half these on that. Okay, is that, it's still up there. The levels are still up there. That's crazy town. Hold on. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that nice and low. Okay, that looks a little better. That's, that's better. Okay, so I have a continue from what I had tried before. I'm just gonna do a new game. Family pizzeria looking for a security guard to work with the Dutch shift 12. Okay, guess we don't need to read that. We don't need that information whatsoever. And I muted myself. There we go. How come I'm playing it now? I just explained why I'm playing it now. Oh, oh okay. Let's turn that down on my end, too. Jesus. Uh, I only got, like, I got, like, 40 minutes left of the stream. I haven't played it before, except for, like, 10, 15 minutes when I first got it. Um, oh, okay. Um, and I haven't played it before. No, it's all good. I, I, dude. <laughs> Whoa, it's showing up all tiny for you. Why is it showing up so I tiny? Can I like... I know oh, I bet it changed resolution on me. But I'm tell you oh my god, really? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Hold on. It's not going to let me do this easily, is it? It makes it all tiny up there. Um, Can I make it larger? Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's all over the place. We're gonna have to like restart it because this thing is being butt. Hold on, let me let me see if I can get the transform on here to do what it's supposed to do. So I'm gonna take this and put it up to there, and then the capture display. I'll try making it larger. I guess I don't know. Like I can't do anything without it getting like all weirdified. See what happens here when I do this. It keeps making it. Songs for 20 no, let me do it. Oh my god, OBS. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just want to make it bigger. I just want to be able to do it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it there. And then we're going to see what happens. And we're just going to go with it. Because I don't have time for this ish. Ha! Ha ha ha! Get dicked. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. You know. Uh, now concerning your. Oh great! Safety, I use power. The only real risk to you as a night watchman. I'm sure it's fine. The How's the audio now? Characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Bite Fazbear, of 87? Is that what this is from? Probably try to I don't even know. Forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause of a bit of discomfort. And I don't know another way that he knows how to react. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Okay, so I'm checking things. Stage is everyone. Yeah.
looking around. I have so little power. What happened? It must have been when I was adjusting everything. Joke's on you. I didn't read it. You guys hear the audio okay on it? Oh, wait, one sec, we're gonna save power. We're gonna save power right now. There we go. We saved, we're saving power. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it seems like it dropped super fast. Probably because I was dicking around with stuff and this came up while I was editing things in OBS. standing. What is that? Probably, probably nothing. In the hallway. Okay. This is interesting. Alright. Still there. Someone's playing Divinity. Cool. <laughs> I seem to be okay. No, the camera pans on its own. It's interesting. So I'm trying to think of like what they built is basically just these little diorama things and have the camera move back and forth. And they spawn the dude in like this in one of them. Oh, there's one. Another one. Oh, they're closing in. Oh, no. Why nay? Seem fine. Seem fine. Still there. Also still there. I think we got this. No problem. First night. I should call it four nights if Freddy's because the first one doesn't count. Oh no. They're probably moving them and don't want me to see that the dude just disappears. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Let's keep that out of there. Later, dude. What do you think is the hardest challenge in making this game? I honestly don't know. Um, this is pretty, I mean, it's pretty simple, but uh, that's something I could take a page from though. <laughs> I, could, I could stand to make things a little more simple. Oh, there's something. Um, let's see, out of making all this, I mean, it's clear that when the cameras go out, it's when you're, it's probably, if I, if I had to guess, this is without very much information, I'm assuming it's when you are on a character or have a potential of looking at another character and they're moving them into a place and they don't want you to, you know, the dev doesn't want you to see it just disappear into nothingness. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty obvious that things are just getting teleported places is probably the art making these little diorama things honestly can't believe i'm almost out of power we did it anyway doesn't matter 
Yeah, I'm gonna guess probably the art. I mean, the uh, program. I mean, I'm, I'm only on the second night and maybe it gets crazy, um, but I can't imagine it being different than this. I imagine it's probably just gonna ramp up in difficulty from here with exactly what we've been looking at. No. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think holistically this game probably isn't too crazy to make. Which just plays into the concept that, you know, I need to stop overthinking things so much. I need to make it more simple. Kumi, thank you very much for following. Uh, I to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place. Mm. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, mm. though, so hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Oh, well, see, they went down, uh, so I'm so guessing the when they come back up, won't be there, yep. And there are blind spots in your camera view. Yep, in the hall, and so. Blind spots have to Right yeah, Voyager. Pretty so much. I, I've been... Someone, I want to be doing more of it. So this was the first one. Oh, they're moving again. You might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, so you can see there's no animation or anything. Like, it's not that crazy. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems to be unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Uh, there. So it's like, you know, there's no animation of anything moving or, or anything really crazy. It's just these scenes were set up. It goes to black. It's, it's really simple stuff. And the camera switching, this is easy. Going from camera to camera. All right, they're in the supply closet for some reason. And yeah, that's why I'm saying I think the hardest part of the game is probably the environments, you know? Because everything else is rather, rather simple. That doesn't, that's not bad or anything. That's not a negative. It's, if anything, it's, it shows how important it is to just focus on the gameplay and come up with a nice tight core loop, which is one of the reasons I ditched so much stuff from my design. I still probably need to do more. Yep. Yeah, a, a game like this, I imagine most of the work comes from uh, design. You know, the actual paper, like figuring out the game being fun and then play testing it and uh, and then the art for it. This motherfucker right here. Think you can get close to me? Hmm? It's just, it's, I really like it in that you're not moving. There's... All right, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense, that's fine. No, no, I don't dislike this game at all. I, I actually think it's fun. I think it's a, a well-crafted game. I mean, obviously, it it's done very very well yeah it's con oh we can just continue where we left off okay but yeah uh it's you know talking about the simplicity of it and the amount of work that would take to make this game is not synonymous with quality right exactly yeah granny mobile game Bull. Yes, <laughs> lots of fun. So uh, basically, I'm kind of taking it on myself. I've been wanting to research more games because, you know, I have had a very difficult time with the balance of pulling myself away from my work, right? And that can be to my detriment because there could be something like just playing this game that could inspire me to change some in mind. Uh, like I was just talking about, this is a very simplistic game overall, um, but it shows the importance of coming up with a tight gameplay idea and executing that idea and sticking to that simplistic thing, right? 
and I'll probably want to do some of the mortuary system. I already cut a lot of stuff, but I probably want to make it even simpler. Cool. AR. Interesting. So does it, like, take place in your own house or something? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I've had thoughts about that for horror games and how it'd be pretty cool to... Uh, there are 10 Five Nights at Freddy's games. Official ones, or are you including, like, fan-made ones? Because I know there's a shit ton of fan-made ones, too. Last time, that dude seemed to sneak up on me for no reason. They're like 10k fan made, yeah. <laughs> no, this... Having just played this for just the amount that I have, this is absolutely a testament to... Uh, um, work smarter, not harder, right? Because while this was... I mean, this is an older game. So there were probably plenty of challenges in programming this game, um, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, overall, pretty simple. And just making the environments, not a ton of work, but probably the most. And uh, oh, thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Movies planned? And, oh, my goodness. Rolling in it. That dude is rolling in it. I think it's so smart. Fairly easy for Scott to make the game as he kept me. Yeah. You can only view games from a programmer's perspective now? No. No, I was talking about the other earlier. How? How? Except for songs of horror, I'm sure you can find inspiration from that. Plenty of jump scares in the big game. What if you target a younger audience? What do you mean? Like, like how Five Nights at Freddy's sort of targets a younger audience? Instead of going for... I mean, obviously Mortuary Assistant is... Uh, Pine, thank you for the follow. Obviously Mortuary Assistant is a more mature audience. There's going to be blood and there's dead bodies and there's all... It's a very mature concept. Um... But I, I actually, I like this. I like the idea of something that is a horror game, but isn't, it doesn't rely on, I mean, it relies on jump scares, which I, I feel are kind of the, the lazy man's horror, but uh, there's plenty of build in this too. So I don't mind it so much in this. Uh, what I don't like is when there isn't, like I'm a huge fan of building to a horrific event and uh, having scary things happen around you. Um, I'm not a huge fan of jump scares, but a game like this where the entire thing is build, like, I, I think that's fine. But uh, yeah, exactly. It has, it has good tension. And I think that's what makes horror is tension. The jump scare is like your release, right? <laughs> if you want to think of it that way. But uh You need to build and no relief, make everyone rage. Well, that's what happened with the uh, um, autopsy of Jane Doe. That's why I didn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Consequences for failing. Exactly, right. Oh, you bitch. There you were. Mm-hmm. Thought you were coming up on me. Yeah. And that's what I'm all about. I really like ambience. I like atmosphere and whoopsies. And I like, uh, are you coming over here again? And I, I just, I like building two uh, horrific events, like I was saying. So I, I totally agree. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, every game, as you play them, becomes predictable as you get to know them. Um, but, yeah, it's... I mean, obviously, this one has a bit more... Uh, I'd say staying power, because it's, it's random-ish, right? You don't know. It's weird. Like, you know that it's going to happen. You know it's building up as the night goes on. You know they're going to be coming at you, but... You're kind of keeping tra tabs on them to see where. Um, I don't quite, at least for this one, like I don't quite see the value in any other camera other than these, right? Like there isn't really much I can do if I go, oh, he's the backstage. Okay. I mean, all that really tells me is I can go down. Um, but really, I use... If I, I mean, I could be wrong again. I haven't been playing it too long, but it seems like I could just use lights and check these cameras and maybe these, you know, so I get an idea of like, oh, they're coming. Okay, I need to get ready. So I'm looking, think about it, maybe use my lights and see what's happening, you know. But other than that, it's kind of like these other ones seem somewhat superfluous. And that may be, they may just be to, to set the mood. You know? Give you more to, to search through. Yeah. Yeah, Vast. And that's that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like there isn't really... There isn't much gameplay beyond this little area right here. You know? Because you're using your lights to look out the doors. You're closing the doors. And you're checking these cameras to see if they're close. Like, there we go. I can see one is close. Other than that, these other ones really don't seem to serve any kind of purpose. Other than like, oh, okay, there he is in the dining area. That means nothing to me because I don't know where he's going next, you know? Oh, I'm sure there is victory. What do you think your game's lacking? Um, do you mean Mortuary Assistant or just my other games? Hey, Shadow Foxy. It's a zombie movie, but it takes place inside Radio Studio. Are you going to review the rest of the games? Um, possibly. I don't know. Uh, I think it might be worth it to do one more, maybe the latest in the series, just to see how far they've come, to see what's changed. Because I'd be interested... I'd be more interested to see what changes they've decided to make from the first one to the most recent one. Know what I mean? Really, dude? Fuck out of here. Um, Mortuary Assistant. I really don't know what it's lacking yet. Dude, fuck off. Oh, wait, I can tell from that, huh? The latest is the VR game. Okay, well, maybe the stuff. Well, actually, I have VR. Um, oh, but I can't use it because we took the I took my bays down and everything for it because we're moving so uh, I can't really do that at the really man get the f out of here, dude really? Who's these people think they are It's a non oh it has a non VR mode. Okay, cool. Those both have windows? Alright. Interesting. Okay. Well, the most recent game... Oh, open up, dude. There we go. Uh, the most recent game is with a new studio because he finished making his original series on his own. So you're going... By... Uh, so you're going by... Yeah, I would like to see his work. I would like to see Scott's work from this version to the last one he made. Okay. You can see jump scares don't really get me anymore. Though. <laughs> Man, I can't get past night two, huh? Game testing the subject. 
Made you numb? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Imagine making all that shit, you know? Like, the, the subject and co-hate obviously both have that that build when the monster's around because the in the subject the alarm goes off but either way you hear the the heartbeat style thumping of the dude walking and that's sort of the build for like oh my god there's something nearby um but yeah i feel like that i feel like that helps a lot um but yeah you kind of become numb to jump scares that's why i don't feel like jump scares are actually horror i don't i don't feel that's jump scares are a tool that can be used in horror, but I don't feel like it's actually horror. I feel like that's lazy, you know? If, if all, I feel like it's lazy if it's all you're doing. Again, a jump, a jump scare is a tool. It can be used to accent something or be like, again, like, uh, um, like Bops was saying, it's like the, the penalty for losing. Um, and that's fine. It, it's basically, it's all build. And then, and then that happens. And that's fine, but it's not particularly the type of jump scare that would get me, you know? Do you think he uses it properly? Um... Yeah, close. Very close, I would say. Um... It feels a little out of nowhere. You know? Mostly because I don't have a, a consistent ramp up. Like, I can see this, and that's fine. Um, but I don't, for some reason, I don't know why, I gotta, I gotta put my finger on it. But I don't feel like, when that little fox dude came in, I didn't see anything on these cameras, really. And I didn't have something that felt like a build-up. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my god, he's getting closer, he's getting closer, okay, okay. It looks like everything's fine, everything's gone, and then, and then something happens. Um... That's a predictable jump scare, but it's still, it's still okay. Yeah, I know, Bops. This is, that's why it's like, I'm not, that's why I'm not pooping on it at all. I'm just, I'm just answering the questions, right? I think this is, I think this is fantastic work, especially for a first game. Jesus. Do you imagine your very first horror game has this kind of impact? That's just crazy. Night two is easy. Sorry, Des, I'm not as good. <laughs> oh, he's in, oh, they're moving them. I happen to be looking at them when they're moving. So the camera's gonna come back online and gonna be somewhere nearby. Or somewhere else. Hello. So, so far the only strategy that's been introduced is watching, watching this one in Pirate Cove to try and keep it in check. Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, see, that was better. That was better. That was much better. There was a little bit of a, like, what's happening? And you drop down and that's there. I'm still not a fan of the shaking something in your face, but... That was still better. That was definitely better. I don't think a mortuary assistant. I'm thinking, uh, Kohate. Maybe Mortuary Assistant, but honestly, um, performance is already an issue on things like Xbox and PlayStation, you know, making something for that. So making something for Switch is going to have to be way dumbed down. And Kohate, I think, is something that I could probably dumb down quite a bit and make enjoyable on uh, on Switch, which uh, I emailed them. They got back to me. I, I don't know if you saw the tweet. Maybe that's why you asked. Um, I, uh, I got access to the Switch developer portal and everything. I'm ready to go. All I need is a Switch. <laughs> I don't actually have one. I haven't been able to get one for like ever and then gave up. Technically, the last game Scott made was Ultimate Custom Night. But it's pretty much just a strategy game. I, uh, okay. So yeah, I just need a uh, I just need a switch, but unfortunately, that's I mean that's a purchase right now that um, you know I I just bought the character creator stuff for Mortuary Assistant, and I just uh, you know we're moving soon and stuff. I, I don't know if uh, I could be throwing around money for a switch at the moment. You get a beef up Kohate? Yeah, probably. Um, I can't imagine doing work to put it on Switch and not giving it some extra stuff 
and then also putting that on on the pc version i i can't imagine doing that that's not you know i don't, I don't want to just if i ever do ports i don't want to just port i want to i want to do like a fun version and let other people have that too i've uh, been a while since i've caught a stream didn't know you uh, started game stream um yeah ninja it, it's uh I'm not saying I started game streaming. Uh, this is actually, I was doing development uh, maybe about 30 minutes ago. Um, I'm just trying to be better about actually playing other horror games and really uh, doing research. Because there are things I can learn from them that, you know, if I don't, if I don't play them, I'm never going to know because I can't experience it myself. I can watch other people play. I can have people talk about it and read write-ups and everything, but it's not the same as actually playing it and going, oh, I really like this mechanic. I should try and, you know, adapt that in some form to my game, you know, or do something inspired by it. Oh, this bitch right here. In the dining area. Oh, they're moving. This is good. That's nice. That's some nice atmosphere stuff right there. And that's all pretty easy, right? You go to one camera and a sound clip starts playing. And you're like, oh, he's nearby there. I feel like you could do a game almost exactly like this, but make it way scarier. Like with with actually having like it would require more work because it would it would like actually having like animations and stuff and creepy things happening uh, when and maybe the the later games are like that but uh, this one's obviously a lot of still things it'd be really cool if uh, you look through one of these cameras and maybe you can switch lenses on the cameras as you're using it and you can go to like night vision or heat vision or something like that and when you do that you see like a like an apparition you couldn't normally see walking down the hall those kinds of things oh sounds a huge huge thing Bartik. yeah uh The concept of someone coming into your room and hidden in you only hear, yeah. Uh, check out Visage. Yes, I have. It's a Kickstarter game. Uh, yes, I have seen Visage. So the location is worth a good look at. Okay. Sound really contributes. Yeah, sometimes sound systems can just get so complicated uh, to execute properly since you're not in control. Of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about, like, that's another reason why this this game in particular, this style of game is easier because you know where the player's at at all times. You know the player's right here and you know when they look at a camera, that's what they're seeing. So you can play with sound really easily. You can be like, I'm just gonna play things on this, on this camera when they look at it. Uh, or I'm gonna play sounds around them as they're looking at this so they know that something's near them, you know? Damn it. And that's pretty simple. You, dude. Cool. Have you ever worked with uh, the development software that made this series? Uh, depends on what software. I don't know what they used. I've worked with a lot of software in my day, but uh, okay. So he's hiding out in the supply closet. Uh, game lasts 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, yes, I have used Click Team Fusion, but very... This was Click Team? This is an old game, too. I didn't think it did 3D at, uh, back then. I actually used Click Team... I didn't even check those cameras. Click Team was the, uh, the first thing I used when I was trying to get into making my own games after, uh, um, after I left Disney. I uh, I started working with that, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool visual stuff." And then I then I started working on um, Welcome to Game Two, and then uh, and then after that, I just started learning to program, and that's when I made the subject. Bops, thank you very much for the follow. All right, let's try one more time. I'm running out of time here. This is just still rendered. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Didn't even, yeah, absolutely. Is it just still rendered images? Uh, mortuary assistant, I got two of the three bodies made, but they are models, yes. Um, they had to make these things, yeah. Yeah. I got two of the, the three bodies made. Um, I gutted my item usage system and rebuilt it and my animation system and rebuilt it uh, for like the doors and windows and all that stuff so it could tie into the haunt system well. And uh, now I'm working on embalming, but I decided that's one of the reasons I decided to play was because the embalming system is gonna be a much larger system that I need to write out and really figure out what I want. All right, there we go. Cam two, you big booty. Yeah, that's why I turn it looks weird, yeah. I'm gonna go eat? All right, later, Bartik. Uh, yeah, I'm done at, uh, at five, so six minutes, actually. My, my stream was real short today. Usually I start at 1 p.m. I'm central time. Um, but, like I said, we're moving soon. We gotta show the house, so people stop by to see it. And, uh, that made me have to start late. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, you mother... Sure, yeah. Pizzeria Simulator sounds cool. Give it a try. Be safe, Bakhti. What is happening? Oh, he's still there. He wants to come over here. Oh, cool. He made it free? Why? Just because he's rich as hell, so he's like, I'm just gonna make something different. This is a nice build-up. I like this. Didn't really lead to anything, though. If you never check on Freddy, you'll get Demonic Freddy. Okay, is that what that is? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was... I mean, it's simple. And every, everybody knows that. I never, I never claimed it was going to be some amazing thing, but I do think it's a fun little puzzle game. No, what? Cool. And for the mobile thing, I actually paid the iOS developer fee too, but I need to, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is use um, a virtual machine. I guess it's not a virtual machine. It's actually a, like a Mac mini on a rack somewhere in the universe and I'm gonna use that to make the build and use their Xcode and everything he's still out there what excuse me I have back in the day twitch dog but I'll have to relearn it basically but at least I've done it once why is this happening? <laughs> he wants me to look away. Yeah. They're just waiting for me to look away so they can do the jump scare. And decide to take it down, refund it, and make the game up to... Oh, wow, interesting. Hmm. Okay, okay, I see. So that's that's it. That's the end anyway when that happens. So it gets jammed and there's nothing you can do. All those things are just ways to make the jump scare happen, you know? Basically, it's like uh, you're stuck and it wants to do the jump scare, but it needs you to look away or do something so that when you go back, it does the jump scare. <laughs> 
Funny. Okay. Uh, I need to... How do I exit? Can I just press escape? All right, cool. This thing really messed up my screen. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me get... Do the There we go. There we go. There we go. That's looking. That's good. Yeah, don't pull up your camera. You're basically dead. But th there's nothing else I can do, right? That's the thing. Is you you do pull up your camera because the game wants to end. It just can't until you do something. That's pretty funny. All right. Uh. So I have to be getting going, um, which I'll be do 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 boo 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 boo. So we're best friends now. But I'll be back. Hey, Jackie boy! Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate you. Appreciate you bunches. Uh, next stream is Monday. Uh, Friday stream got real rocky. Monday is another evening stream. So 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Just like today. But we'll actually be... Uh, assuming people don't want to look at the house. A Monday would be kind of weird. But... Uh... So... <laughs> well, you caught me just as I'm leaving. Um... Let's see, back, and we'll do a follow. Sorry it was such a short one today. I mean, I, I explained what happened, showing the house, and had to had to peace out, which made the stream start later. But on Monday, I'll be back for the evening stream. Oh, we got Divine Dev. We got Matty Ray. Let's do Divine. Haven't checked out his stuff in a while. He's another developer. All right. So, next stream, Monday. I'll be working on I'll probably I'll probably play something else too just because again I wanna I wanna do more researchy stuff. Um but I'll be working on the embalming system. Uh, I'll probably be gutting some stuff this weekend and rewriting some things just like I did this morning. Um leaving California. I'm in Florida. <laughs> I left California and came to Florida, and now I'm leaving Florida because it's Florida. <laughs> no, it's fine, Ben. I I it's Easy mistake, because I used to live in California. All right. Um, here's all the things. Follow all that stuff. Um, really, bot? Is this? There we go. Uh, where are you going now? Uh, I'm going Connecticut. Um, then, let's see. Check out Mortuary Assistant. The prototype is up there. It's only like five minutes of gameplay. It's not very long. It's very simple, because it's a prototype. But it does get across the style of game and the mood and, and everything that I'm going for that I'm building with the full game now. Uh, so if you're interested want to check it out, it is up there to see. And last but not least, you can support with Patreon if you want to do more than just buying the games you can do patreon also i put out let's let's plug that too i put out a little mobile game i uh i built a mobile game just kind of in my free time um it's nothing amazing it's just a little puzzle game i think it's fun but it's uh it's just a simple little thing but it's free and if you got no money but you still want to support you can go grab it. It's called Tumble Garden. I don't think it's been indexed in their searches yet. So if you go to Google Play, you won't find it. It will be on iOS at some point, but right now it's uh, it's it's on Android. So uh, it's also linked in the Discord. Going back? No, I'm not going back to California. I'm going to Connecticut. Hypercurve. Uh, I don't really want to go back to California. It was great for like the people I knew there and other stuff, but it was way too expensive to live there and it has its own problems. Um, no, we did a lot of research and we settled on a specific place in Connecticut that looks really good for my family and for job opportunities for my wife. And, and then, you know, potential for me if, if shit hit the fan and, and the whole world burned down and I had to go back to studios. There's 81 in New York, so it's, it's close to New York and all that. But uh, anyway, we are going to raid a divine dev which that is a link that's not going to take us anywhere i have to go back and uh and and do the copy thing also make sure he's actually streaming so let's do that too <laughs> there we go now you can join the raid now you can get in on it uh let's see divine you up and running they are he is he's good he's going 
All right. Uh, so Divine is another solo developer. He's working in Unreal, whereas I work in Unity. Um, he's a cool guy. Stick around. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jackie boy. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good time. If not, uh, just don't say anything. <laughs> no, it's uh, like I said, I made it. I made it very quickly. Um, and it was just something I wanted to do in my uh, just outside of Mortuary because I was doing some really big brain code stuff at the time. And I was like, I'd like to work on something that's a little bit of a departure from that. Just so I have it's like a toy I can work. I can play with when I don't want to do big brain shit. Right. So, uh, Thank you. <laughs> so uh, it, it's something to do, though. And I think it's fun. It's got 100 levels. It's a nice little puzzle thing. So check it out. All right, everybody. I have to go. Uh, I will see you Monday again, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time here in America. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the follows. Uh, I had a good time. It was really nice uh, playing something and getting some insight. And also uh, not a lot on stream, but I got a lot of good stuff done today overall on the game. So I'm pretty happy, pretty pleased with today, regardless of the, uh, the interruptions. So again, thank you for being here. I will see you on Monday. I love you all. Long time. See you later. Dark Stone Dizzy Tear them to pieces. Dude. <laughs> oh good Dark Stone. <laughs> hey, appreciate it, cubes. I'm slow on the gun. Hey, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the follows. How's everything on the stream today? Look, 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 look. We, we are here polishing up a game jam chat. Raiders, welcome. Uh, uh, not gonna lie though, right? As soon as we finish this, we're putting in one of our last uh, image um, Easter eggs, right? And um, uh, I had the perfect, and I, I think I'm going to have to find it again, right? 